I don't actually know why I love this place so much. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We are in Dunedin, New Zealand. It's a city on the South Island, south of Christchurch, and I believe it's the second largest city on the South Island. We've actually been here three separate times, and I've done very little in the way of documenting my experience here in Dunedin. I made one video about the, the sea cave beaches, but you know, I love this city so much, but it's kind of perplexed me as to why I like it so much. It, like on the surface, there doesn't seem to be any particular reason that jumps out at me as to why I love this city so much. So today, I am on a quest. We are gonna figure this out together. Why do I love Dunedin so much and why is it quite possibly my favorite city in all of New Zealand? So first up today, I'm taking you to Nichols Creek, just a little bit on the outskirts, outside of the downtown area. And this place, Nichols Creek, is pretty well known for two main things. The first thing is this awesome waterfall. You might be saying to yourself at this point, okay, it's a beautiful waterfall, but you've seen countless waterfalls in New Zealand perhaps hundreds, if not maybe even thousands of waterfalls here in New Zealand. So could this Nichols Creek waterfall really be the reason why I love Dunedin so much? And you bring up a valid point. You see what's truly magical about Nichols Creek is what happens here after dark. These cliffs all along the path to get to the waterfall are loaded with glow worms. So you can't truly appreciate the special nature of this place unless you come here after dark. Actually, you should come right before dark to get a glimpse of the waterfall before it gets too dark and then on your way out, take in the splendor of the glowworms. And again, you might be saying to yourself, at this point you've seen countless of glowworm spots all around New Zealand, so what makes this one special? Well, the first thing is it's free. It's on Google Maps. Just type in waterfalls and glowworms or glowworms and waterfalls. I'll give you the exact location or look up Nichols Creek. There's a mountain bike trail. I think it's on the other side of the creek. But this place is rarely crowded. I've seen one or two cars at the trailhead every time I've been here. Sometimes nobody's here. And it's just an awesome spot if you're in Dunedin to check out a beautiful waterfall and some glowworms for free. So this is Baldwin Street one of Dunedin's claims to fame. And I don't often do things like this. It's too reminiscent of like the world's largest ball of twine or something cliche like that. But there is Baldwin Street, the steepest residential street in the world. They have recently reclaimed that title after beating out a street in San Francisco. And the only reason I bring it up, the only reason I'm here, is because this was actually, when I first read about Dunedin, when I first was looking into what is there to do on the South Island when we first got here, this popped up. This was like the thing Dunedin was known for. And I was like, I guess we can skip that town. It doesn't sound like they got much going on there. If they're promoting that they have the steepest street in the world, eh, we'll just miss that spot. And so that's why it's even more surprising or enjoyable that I love this city so much. And they've really capitalized on, uh, on Baldwin Street here. They have the steep cafe down the road and people are selling stuff out of their houses. So it really is a tourist attraction though. I think some of the residents were getting pissed because camper vans and, and a lot of tourism traffic to the street was causing log jams and it's hard to turn around at the top of this. But Baldwin Street. One of the things Dunedin is known for, and yet today, even though I've been here three times in the city of Dunedin, for extended periods, this is actually the first time that I've been to Baldwin Street. So it definitely is not because of the steepest street in the world that Dunedin is my favorite city in New Zealand. So we can check that off the list. So 
So right across the street from Baldwin Street is uh, this quarry garden. I saw this sign and actually don't know anything about it. Don't know what is going on here. It's some sort of rehabilitation project. Seems like a lot of people walk their dogs here, but they're not picking up the poop. Got to be very careful. It's very dangerous to vlog and dodge dog poop at the same time. So, it could be, we might, might accidentally trigger a landmine. And by that I mean a Dunedin poo explosion on my brand new shoes. But let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, interesting. So it looks like, I guess it's basically what the sign says. They are reclaiming this quarry, this old quarry, and they made it into a garden. Interesting. It's like not much going on from what I can tell, just like some grass and stuff. I guess this is a place for the community to walk their dogs and not pick up their poop. Nice that they're preserving that green space and that is definitely one of the things I like about Dunedin. Surprisingly, a good amount of green space. Something else that I like about this city that I actually didn't know the first few times we were here, or I should say the first time we were here, is that it is a college town. The University of Otago is here, and so it really gives it like a, I don't know, it's got that youthful vibe, the exuberance of youth. It seems like there's a always like, not a chaotic energy, but there's like an excited energy in the air. They, they have a lot of like uh, live music and, and stuff just going on all the time, which is good. And another kind of byproduct of it being a college town is there's a ton of great restaurants here, in particular, vegan options. One of my favorite vegan burger places in all of New Zealand is here. It's called Burger Plant. It is about burger o'clock, so let's get to it. Mm. Mm. Oh man, oh it's so good. So that delicious vegan burger at Burger Plant, fries and a drink, the combo was 20 bucks New Zealand, that works out to be about $14 US, so not super cheap, but a pretty delicious meal. And with the immense number of awesome restaurants here in Dunedin, you're never done eating in Dunedin. You're never done eating in Dunedin. Nah. But it certainly doesn't hurt the case for Dunedin. And in fact, I think that's one in the plus column, but it's not the reason. Oh, this is cool though. This is the old railway station here. And another thing I love about this city is these old historic buildings. And this railway station is really one of the big centerpieces in the downtown of the historic district. So it has the, the college town energy, it has the historic buildings, it has that beautiful glowworm waterfall, it has a ton of awesome restaurants, but what else? What is it? Oh yes, also the steepest street in the world, but I, I don't know, I, I still don't know what it is about this place that I love so much. So let's see what else, what other things are on offer here in Dunedin. One of the things that's unique to Dunedin is the shape of it. It has the main kind of city and downtown area, then it has this bay, which is a port, and then across the bay, over there, is the Otago Peninsula. And the Otago Peninsula is awesome. It's kind of a suburb of Dunedin, but it's got the only castle in New Zealand, the Larnock Castle. Just check that out the other day. That was super interesting. You can also find the Albatross Center out on the point of the Otago Peninsula. And not only can you see albatross nesting there, they also have an area where you can check out the blue penguins nesting. So it's a super great area to see wildlife, lots of little nooks and crannies on the Otago Peninsula. But then also, in addition to the Otago Peninsula and this bay, there's also a proper coast just out that way. And that's loaded with amazing beaches. 
sea caves, you've got Tunnel Beach, one of the most unique beaches in all of New Zealand that has this tunnel down to the beach. It's got a beach waterfall flowing. It's got a, a big arch. One of my favorite beaches in Dunedin, Doctors Point, tons of massive sea caves, and there's just tons of little nooks and crannies to explore to see wildlife as well. All those beaches you can see seals, sea lions, some of them you can see blue penguins, yellow-eyed penguins. And so it just it adds to the immense list of amazing things to do here. And I'll tell you one thing it definitely is not, is the weather, because today is a rare sunny day in Dunedin. It rains a lot here, it often has a foggy, misty, moody vibe, but even on those days, I still love this city, and I, I can't quite put my finger on why, but I think, I think it's a combination of all those things. I think that my expectations were super low for Dunedin, and I just came and am constantly blown away by the different things there are to do here, like the great food, live music, so much to explore, so much to see, and not only is it a city, but it has all these natural things that I love, like the waterfalls and the sea caves and the wildlife. So if you ever get a chance, I highly recommend you check out my favorite city in New Zealand, Dunedin. And I'm still not 100% convinced why, but I think I have a much better understanding of why after making this video.